hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video we're going to learn how to upload an application into play store so here's my application that i've already uploaded so let's get started so first of all let's open the google play console so after that we click here the button on top here create app so once we click we will be redirected to the page of the apps details so let's fill the forms so first of all the apps name this is going to be a testing app so i'll just name it testing testing application default language going to be english us app or game i'll just leave it app free or paid free and these two are mandatory so you guys have to check those so once done let's hit the create app here okay so now the apps are already created so first of all from all of this section we have to go to the dashboard first so from the dashboard it'll let you know what are the setups that you guys have to do so from here we have this so only the first section that is mandatory for the release so we click here to expand view task so all of this okay so let's finish it and complete it one by one so the first one gonna be the app access okay so it depends on you if your app has a functionality that is required for purchasement such as a, a premium feature that is only accessible if the user has purchased so you may check this one and yep just fill the forms so as for the testing so everything is available without any special access so i'll just check here and save once save we go back to the dashboard so the second point gonna be the content rating so this is gonna be a questionnaire which will result the rating of our application like the application is applicable for what age this application is contained this or not this like that so we'll start the questionnaire so first of all we have to put our email address so i'll just put mine you so monster at gmail.com so this is going to be your apps category so my app's going to be mm, let's say entertainment whatever so i'll hit next so these are the few things that have to be considered so i'll just go to no for all Okay, violence, no, fear, no, sexuality, no, gambling, whatever, no, language, offensive language, no, S controlled substance, no, crude humor, no, miscellaneous, no, no, Nazi, no, and no. Okay, so this should be good, and I'll hit save, and then next. So this is the result after having the questionnaire. So I'll just submit here, submit. So it's done the content rating is done so i'll hit dashboard again so the third point the target audience so before we can fill the target audience and content we have to specify that our apps has an advertisement or not okay so go to ads so my apps doesn't has a advertisement so i'll just hit no so if you guys realize at the play store usually the app has the label of contain ads and some of the app has no content apps or in-app purchase all of these are from here okay so i'll hit save go back so the privacy policy okay so i'll click start okay so here's a tricky part for privacy policy i usually use from google i usually google privacy policy privacy and policy generator so i usually use this so from here enter company name let's say i don't have company i just specify my name mm, youtube.com slash my name or in my instagram whatever oops the url should be this website name should be mm, in use of so hires instagram whatever and hit next so use cookies or not no showing advertisement yes advertising except google mm, no oh yeah no just go no all 
whatever you guys can modify and manipulate it right so i just hit next country will be malaysia malaysia state whatever selangor email address mine so I generate my privacy policy so here we go we have the privacy policy so and also it specify the link so we can just copy here and then we can just paste it here okay so let's hit save and go back so next gonna be the target audience so this this is the this is the continuation from the previous one so let's start so there are a lot of options here and uh, and each each option you you've checked are varies so let's say if you if you check the five and under six until eight there will be some additional policy requirements and whatever you can read from here so as for my case i'll just check above 13 and all okay because it doesn't require any additional policy so i'll hit next so as for this i will hit no next and done save and go back and what else okay i guess oh yeah one more last thing is the news app so i'll start so is your app a news app of course no if yes you have to specify an additional policy if yes you have to specify an additional news policy you you may read from here and whatever see you have to specify the reason and and so on so i'll just hit no because it is just a test step okay so i'll hit save go back and we're done so what's next is his dashboard again so here we can select an app category so it is app or game it is an app you also can you, you also can select the game category gonna be entertainment tags uh, i don't want in any tags so here's uh, i will use my auto completion my email address and phone number and whatever so hit this it is a, it is kind of google will help to advertise your app but it's only gonna be advertised after 60 days so hit save go to dashboard again and there will be one last thing set up your store listing so they're gonna be the last thing which is the set up your store listing so click that so this is gonna be the like the like the very general like if you open the play store and then search for an application there will be a short description app name full description and the images icon and so on so let's specify and fill the form so my name gonna be the testing applications short description gonna be a short description for the testing application full description gonna be mm, let's extend that oh no mm, short description full, a full description for testing app do not forget to subscribe my channel what did i write channel dot okay then my english is not really good thanks for thank you grammarly for for improving my grammar okay so the next gonna be the icon so i've already prepared my icon so i'll hit upload and find my icon so this is gonna be my icon okay it's a twice and whatever i don't mind it okay so there are only three things that i mean the images only three sections that are mandatory the first is app icon the second is feature graphic and the third one is the the phone screenshots for other than those you can just ignore it so let's e let's let's upload our feature graphic so that's gonna be my feature graphic so let's also upload the phone screenshots okay so for the screenshots it has to be a minimum of two okay and also sometimes your image is gonna be rejected you you guys have to follow the rules uh, mentioned below like it is it has to be jpeg and it has to be the dimension of five 
512 px by 512 px and blah 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 and just read those you can you can see those okay so we've already implemented all of the mandatory things so let's hit save submitting okay your changes have been saved so we're done i guess so the last thing the final very very final thing is we have to go click on production here and then we create a new release okay oh yeah and for this one i usually use click continue because i'm using the app signing under the google so i'll just click continue okay so now we're gonna code a testing application so so i'll go back to the android studio and i'll create a new project empty activity whatever testing application i'll use scotland to look to look professional <laughs> just kidding and hit finish and of course you guys can this is just testing and i just i i only need a hello world and whatever i'm not gonna publish this code into github because it is not really necessary okay now so the ide already has been prepared so i uh, will go to build and then generate site bundle and slash apk i'll use apk this one next so the key store path you guys have to have a key store if you guys don't have it you guys can click create new and specify all of this so i'll show you how to create a new key store path so the key store path you can open here and specify where do you want to paste it i just want to paste that desktop because i want to delete it later to be deleted key store hit save password gonna be whatever asd 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 and blah 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 alias gonna be yeah you you can specify whatever key o key dash alliance password gonna be mm, i'll just make it same first name last name testing people organization no city no city whatever state uh, uh, country code my whatever okay hit okay so remember password okay so we've already chosen the key store path here and the key store password and the key password we have specified so hit next so there are two options gonna be debug or release i'll choose release because whenever we want to release the app so for the signature versions just just check these two things so i'll hit finish okay so now the application has been generated so we can locate here so here's my applications under release so here's the app okay so we can drop here and still uploading okay so the application has been uploaded so here's the release note whatever you want to write release or mm, let's say official release and then number two do not forget to subscribe to my channel number three gonna be and to like my videos whatever so let's hit save okay and then gonna be review release okay all done one error what it is oh yeah okay Keep in mind that this error only gonna be shown when after you uploaded the apps like what what we did right now i don't know what's the reason it's gonna be shown now instead of putting at the dashboard from the first so whatever so let's go back to the dashboard okay you can see here there's one more point that is left so let's finish it select countries and region uh, so click here at countries and or regions so i'm gonna be available to all countries so let's say you you don't want uh, malaysian to be to have this application downloaded so you can just uncheck malaysia or if you don't want indonesian or 
or or or anyone else you can just uncheck and whatever it's up to you so hit add countries or region add so done so we go back to the our production here release and edit and again review release and no more errors but only warning but it is not really matter so just start roll out to production and this is gonna be our final button click and done it is now in review okay so i guess that's all tutorial today if you guys have any question do not hesitate to leave a com at the comment section below and do not forget to subscribe and like to my channel and videos because it really motivates me to continue this tutorial series and thank you for watching until next time bye